This is the Moyu Super RS3M, which is the upgraded version of the RS3M 2021. For 3x3, I currently main this RS3M21 that has the Cuber's Home core magnets, so this is corner core magged. Uh, this is the ball core version of the Super RS3M, so it also has corner core mags. I'm really curious to see if this is any better than a modded RS3M21. Okay, so it comes with the box. I don't know when they started doing this because I don't think the RCM21 came with this kind of box. And we also have an accessories box inside of here. It looks like they give us an extra core, but this one doesn't have the magnets. So I guess if you don't like the corner core mags, you can replace it with this. Hello, I'm currently editing the video and looking at this clip right here, I noticed that the core actually sticks to the screwdriver a little bit, and that made me think that what if the core is a magged core? So yeah, I looked a bit closer, it is actually core magnetized. I'm guessing this is to replace the golden core if it breaks because the golden plastic is kind of brittle. And then we have a screwdriver and a tensioning tool. Oh, we also have this purple extra cylinder thing for spring compression. I guess. These are purple now, because they used to be blue. I don't know. From what I've heard, the Super RS3M is only a little bit better than the RS3M 2021, and my RS3M 2021 is already corner core magged, so I'm not sure if this is actually going to be any better, but it'll be interesting to try. So before I actually do any turns... Oh, this is really tight right now. I can't even take out an edge. I'm going to loosen everything first so I can actually take out a piece and look at the core mechanism. So we have golden colored tracks for some reason, and then we also have the golden ball core. I'm pretty sure that's the bad version that can like break easily, but if it breaks then I don't know, I'll just try to get a replacement I guess. Anyways, that's like the only reason I wanted to actually take apart this cube so I could see the core color. Honestly, this cube feels really average. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is kind of exactly what an average cube feels like out of the box. I'm gonna try corner cutting. Okay. It can cut a little bit past 45, but that's it. And then reverse is about line to line. So I think this will need a lot of setup to become good because right now it just feels really average. Just out of the box, I feel like the core magnets on the Super RS3M are a little bit weaker than the ones on my modded RS3M21. It might be because this cube is just really new, it's out of the box and it's very fast, so the magnets are a bit hard to feel. So I'll see how it is after some setup and actually do a more fair comparison between these two cubes later. But yeah, just out of the box, it feels pretty good but nothing great. I'll definitely need to do a lot of setup and break in and messing around with settings and stuff to see what I like. But yeah, that's basically it for this unboxing. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Alright, now I'm going to try setting up the Super RS3M to feel more like my RS3M21 because right now it doesn't feel great and I, I think it definitely needs a lot of setup. So I'm going to start by making the spring compressions the same. Right now my RS3M 2021 is set to that, the second loosest setting. And right now the Super RS3M is on the lowest setting. So I'm just going to increase every side by one click. And I'm also going to try getting the tensions to be the same. My R3M is tensioned like this. My R3M21. These have the same name, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, this is my Super R3M. I think they're about the same. I'm just going to leave it how it is for now and do fine-tune adjustments later if I need to. Okay, that feels marginally more stable, which is a good thing because it was a bit loose before. For lube, I'm going to be using Martian. I've used this pretty much exclusively for my RS3M21 and it's worked really well, so I'm going to also use it for the Super RS3M. Why are these pieces so hard to take out? 
I feel like I'm gonna break something because this gold plastic honestly does not look very um, durable. Okay, I don't want to risk breaking something. So I'm just gonna loosen the white side so I can actually get these pieces back in. I just realized I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of factory lube that I should have cleaned out beforehand, but I think it'll be okay for now. Hopefully it's not that bad. Okay. And then I'll put some lube on the sides of the pieces as well. And then I'll break that in. I should retighten this side as well. So I'll do a bunch of solves in this cube. There's probably a good chance that I'll main it because it's basically an upgraded version of my current main. And if I do, then I'll make a new video going more in depth about why I main this. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Oh yeah, I haven't said this in a really long time, but use code JavaCuber at checkout to get a discount on your order. I always forget to say that in videos.